Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's so cool in there. It's really good in there. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. This week again we're in Wales and today we've come to uh, Goldock uh, Waterfall in the uh, sort of southern Snowdonia National Park. I'm going to have a look around the woodland and uh, have a look at these fantastic waterfalls along the trail. And basically it's been really hot and humid in Wales the last couple of days while I've been here. Then basically thunderstorms in the evening, so we've got some really fantastic shots of lightning and stuff. So I'll put a few of those on the screen for you now to show you what I've been taking through the night. It's the first time I've shot sort of um, lightning, so it's been really interesting and fun to uh, experience that. So today we're going to have a look around the waterfalls and walk through the woods and uh, see what kind of uh, compositions we can come up with. It's nice and sunny and the sun's sort of coming through the uh, trees and uh, lighting up the moss and things so uh, it's looking pretty good so far so we're going to have a look around and see what we can get. Alright I've set up my composition now. I'm shooting at 18mm on my Nikon and um, basically I've got an f11, ISO 100 and uh, one 25th of a second so I'm going to take a few shots there it looks really nice that like I say with the polarizer on it's cut out the uh, glare and you can see the detail in the rocks okay so I've just put a polarizer on the camera now just to show you basically the effects of the polarization um, on, on wet rocks it'll basically uh, take the sheen off and um, sort of bring out the contrast as you can see at the top of the uh, screen there it's sort of making them really shiny and if I turn it, it makes them dark and takes the sheen off also if you look in the uh, plunge pool at the bottom you can actually see through the water and you can see the rocks so there you go it's quite shiny on the water there and it takes the shine off and basically basically you can see the uh, rocks in the bottom of the plunge pool there so it's always a good idea to use um, a polarizer when doing the waterfall scenes just to cut through that reflection and glare I'm also going to take a two shot um, landscape sort of um, pano, one for the top of the waterfall, one for the bottom of the waterfall. I'll stitch those together and I'll get like a bigger image and then obviously I'll be able to get the whole scene in to one image because quite, I'm quite close to the waterfall here and I can't get any further back so I'm going to have to sort of take two shots and stitch them together. Just walking through the woodland now we've been to the uh i was just walking around the side of the waterfall to like another sort of vantage point but it's an absolutely beautiful location this woodland is fantastic and uh the sun's coming through the canopy and lighting up all the greens it just looks really good so we're gonna have a keep looking around and see if we can find anything all right guys so we're just coming to another uh, viewpoint along the trail and this is a little bit more uh better viewing if you like uh, there's no sort of like uh, fences and things around it but it's absolutely stunning location this so I've taken a few images from this angle I'll put them on screen for you now and see what you think so again I'm using the polarizer f11 and I've gone for a slightly longer shutter speed on this one 
One reason because it's quite dark in here and also I want to try and get a little bit more movement in the water. So uh, I'm going to put that on screen for you now and let me know what you think down below in the comments. All right guys, so uh, we're coming across this little woodland scene here. We've got some really nice rapids running through the woodland and we've got a couple of trees that are sticking out of the ground like a V-shape. We've got some really nice side light on them, which is coming through the canopy from above. And um, I think it really makes a nice uh, scene with the rocks in the foreground here, the stream running through it and then the trees as a subject. So again, I've got the polarizer on, that's um, taking the glare off the image as everything's quite saturated and wet. And that'll just bring out all the detail and the texture in the image explain this composition to you. Uh, we've got the nice little falls there coming down through the image. We've got these nice two trees getting some side light. It's looking really good there. The ferns in the background are looking good. Again I've got the uh, polarizer on just to take the sheen off uh, everything. I'll just spin the uh, polarizer for you there. You can see it gets really bright there and you can't really see much detail but if you turn the polarizer to full and the greens are popping and all the textures in the rocks and the tree and everything are all showing through so it's um, again a good idea to use a polarizer shot now we're going to uh, move on through the woods and continue on our walk it's such a fantastic location this it's hard going today as it's about 30 degrees and it's really humid but you know we're getting there all right guys so we just walked in a little bit further and we've come across this fantastic little scene here this is the area it just keeps on giving look at these waterfalls so you got one here in the background and then this one here with some like boulders and things across the front here. So I'm going to take a few images of that, uh, standard sort of settings, I'm going to try different shutter speeds as well. I've got the polarizer on again, it's a little bit sketchy and slippy around here so I'm not going to set up a camera for filming. Again they're just showing the polarization on this scene. It really makes a big difference, I mean it's really dark there. You can see obviously all the detail in the rocks and the ferns. If I spin it back to uh, no polarization. You can see there's a lot of sheen on the rocks there and the surface of the water. So we'll turn it down again, fully polarised, and we'll take some shots. But uh, I'll put them on the screen for you now, and uh, again, just let me uh, know what you think. Hope you like them. Looking in. Okay, I'm going to wrap it up here. We're at the end of the trail. We're about to go back to the car. So, I uh, really hope you've enjoyed this video. It's been a really good walk. This I was expecting uh, sort of one main waterfall, but there's a series of uh, 
several waterfalls along this trail and uh, we've really enjoyed it. It's been hard because it's quite hot today, but uh, I think I've got some really good images. So I'm going to get them back home on the computer and just see what they uh, turn out like. Uh, if you've liked what you've seen, please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done, done so already. And then comment down below with any uh, suggestions for future uh, videos or any suggestions about the images that I've produced today. Until next time, bye for now.